Hey, this is Mike from Sons Liberty Gunworks, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about gas ports, okay? Uh, the Sons Liberty approach to making rifles is that every rifle begins its life as a barrel, and we build the rest of the platform to support that barrel. Uh, if you've watched any of our other videos, you've probably heard me say that several times, but that is our approach. So, I believe that if you start out with a bad barrel, nothing you do to the rest of that gun is going to truly overcome that. And... Uh, Gas ports are one of the things that I think are the most, that's probably one of the most critical places to start whenever you know, you're selecting or building a barrel. There are some known values that are, that are well established that, and we use those values to kind of as a starting point for how we develop our own, right? The, the, uh, the Mark 18 is a 10.3 carbine that's gassed at 0 .070. Uh, a true M4 is gassed at 0 .0625. Uh, a Mark 12 is gassed at 0 .0995. You know, an M16 is gassed at 0 .0093. So we know those values, and the reason why those values I think are important to understand is because there was a lot of money and time and research put into developing that port. And we have those; those are military guns. Those are the textbook numbers for you know military issued rifles. And we know those rifles work in sample sizes of millions and probably round counts of billions in every type of environment you can imagine those guns work so there's really no point in going in there and messing with those numbers unless you have a really good reason so for a sun's liberty 18 inch rifle a sun's liberty 20 inch rifle a sun's liberty 14.5 carbine like we're going to use those values okay the only place where we deviate from that a little bit is when we talk about our 10.5 now <clears throat> we've opened that port a little bit over the crane spec the sun's liberty gas port for a 10.5 is 0 0.073 and the reason for that is because there's no such thing as uh, Winchester white box in the SEAL team, right? There's no such thing as Tula or PMC bronze in the SEAL team. So like the crane specs on the True Mark 18 are gas for high pressure military ammo. Now out here in the civilian world, uh, there's such a wide variation of ammo and a lot of it is very anemic and under pressured. We open that port just a little bit to be more forgiving of ammo, okay? And because of the the lack of dwell time on that 10.5, that's the one place where we kind of deviated from the known values. Remember, all of these guns are spec'd with heavy buffers, right? A, a true Mark 18 has an H2 buffer. A true M4 has an H2 buffer. So even though those ports are conservative, they're still obviously able to push that mass around no problem. Um, we're going to be publishing all of Sons of Liberty's gas port data, which is something that most companies don't do, but you know we're very transparent about how we do things, why we do things, you guys can actually see what our gas port data is, okay? Now, the thing to remember is that you want ample gas to drive the gun. You want enough gas to push the gun through adversity, right? Worn rings, fouling, the gun's dry, um, you know, again, am ammunition variation. So you want enough gas to drive that gun, and then you want enough mass in the buffer system to push that bolt back into, into battery, right? So ample gas and ample mass. And if those two things are working together, the gun's gonna do very well. Now, if you've seen our gas block videos, you'll see how tight that gas block fits around the journal. Now, we can get away with, with gas in these things a little bit conservative because we're not hemorrhaging any gas between the, block, the gas block and the journal. It's a very efficient system, okay? That's, all that gas is being used to drive the bolt carrier group to the rear. Now. I noticed something interesting in a, a trend lately where there's like there's inserts and there's different you know adjustable this and there's you know, inserts to kind of choke off some of that gas. If you have a massively overgassed barrel and you want to use an insert to close it off a little bit, uh, I guess that makes sense. But you don't want the gun on the ragged edge of working. Like you know we've experimented a lot with gas ports and you don't need a lot of gas to, to run the gun. You need, a, you need a little bit more gas, though, if you want to run it through, again, adversity, right? Is there, some, you know, is there a fouling in the raceways or something else going on? You don't want the thing on the ragged edge of working, and you also definitely don't want the gas port so large that if you introduce a suppressor to it, you've pushed that entire gun out of, outside of its operational envelope. <clears throat> so every, the way we gas our, our barrels is we want to run suppressed and unsuppressed without the need to change anything. The less thinking you're doing about the gun, the more thinking you can do about the task. So we gas these things to be kind of almost idiot proof. Suppressed, unsuppressed, different types of ammunition, uh, you know, whatever you kind of throw at the gun, it, it's gonna eat and it's gonna continue to function. Um, 
if the gun's massively overgassed and you add a suppressor, then that is going to probably push it outside of its operational envelope. You'll start seeing malfunctions, you'll start seeing parts breaking soon, uh, faster, you'll, you know, that's where you start seeing, I think, like broken extractors and other issues. Uh, you also see worn gas rings, right? You know, gas rings wear out a little bit faster whenever you're massively overgassing the gun. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. Start with the correct gas port, and that, that's, the first, that's the first box you should check when you're selecting or buying a rifle, that that gas port is correct. Hey, take a look at the values that we published here, which it's, you know, most companies don't do this, but we're, you know, we're pretty, we're pretty confident what we're doing. So anyways, thanks a lot. Take it easy.